I'm at the uh, NALC event about how can we create uh, councils in London, local councils indeed, and I've butted into a really lively conversation here between uh, Lee Roy and, uh, and Chris about the virtues of maybe having a local council in Halston. But what's the point of uh, going for a new structure? I feel that we have to look at forming a new structure we have the advantage of knowing what doesn't work. So forming a new structure is easy. I think sometimes we try to patch up on something that's failed and see if that can work. I feel that what we should do now is actually say, A, B, C, didn't work, let's try E, and not try and patch up something that's failed in the past, or if not, invent something new. And Chris, what were the points you were asking here? I was asking whether or not um, a local council is something that the um, uh, Halson team have, have, have thought about before because at NALC we've had four or five inquiries over the last 18 months um, about the uh, methodology of setting up a local council, only one of which has really seemed to partly go the distance, i.e. Queen's Park. Um, we've had inquiries from Wapping, we've had inquiries from Surbiton, um, London Fields and the East End. And so I was interested in Le Leroy's opinion on um, whether he thought a local council um, would be right for Harleston, given what he was saying in his speech earlier on. Um, and I think my, my view is that it's worth them looking at this because um, of the autonomy their community could have. Because I was hearing earlier, Leroy, you were looking at different options. You weren't necessarily jumping in for a council. And it sounded like you'd made quite a lot of progress already. Have you made the progress? I was hearing about music and faith. Yeah, we've made lots of progress. And we've done lots of things in the community. I mean, we've already got 5.2 million to do the House and Town Public Realm Scheme. We've also done lots of community events. What we want to do right now is develop that one more stage where that we can understand not only can we develop it socially, but have governance over that. And one of our problems is, is how do we develop that governance? Is it by having a local council, or is it by having a political party, or is it by having members of our team stand for council or MP? And that's one of the things that we've been having quite a lot of discussions about, is that there comes a time where we need to have a say in governance. And how do we do that? So I was hearing you had a kind of classic, well, very good campaign to get all sorts of improvements and so forth. But I was hearing from you the problem was that there wasn't real ownership there. So you're looking at ownership. Yeah, ownership's very important. To every community, ownership is important. And we need to make the residents, the community, understand it belongs to them, not Brink Council, not TfL. It's theirs. And that will make a big difference in how they respond to it and how they engage the things being done. And I think that one of the things that a lot of things we didn't actually talk about today was about engagement. And uh, the campaign started around problems, getting problems fixed, but I was also hearing about how you build on the strengths in your community. What are the strengths in Halston? I think the strengths that we have, right, is we love Halston. We have a lot of professional people in Halston. We just don't negotiate, discuss, or engage together. So we have lots of pockets of lots of information, lots of skills, but we don't engage because we tend to go and keep ourselves to ourselves. Are you swinging towards the idea of a council or not? I think it's something I would offer to the team. I mean, I am a member, I am the chairman, but I do have 12 other people I need to speak to, and I'll just add that to the bill. And hopefully we'll make a good decision for the best for Halston and how that works. I mean, personally, I would say a council would be good for Halston because we're, the Halston community are not very used to having the ability to make a decision. They're normally used to complaining. So they would love having a council to do it for them. But what we have to see is that if we had a council for them, we would be relieving them of their responsibility.